Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shereya Maurice and today I'm going to walk you through exactly how I plan our year-round homeschool year. So stay tuned. <music> First off, in order to get started, if you want to plan along with me, then you're going to need a few things. You're going to need to get a um, year at a glance calendar. And I just printed this one off of um, Calendar Labs, calendarlabs.com. And then I chose um, the online calendar and then a custom calendar. And you can do it however works best for you according to your, you know, life. <laughs> but um, I chose to do a period of uh, 13 months and then um, I started the month at June because that's when our new school year is going to start and so then it, ba it basically goes from June to June and I did it in four columns so you can print it out um, however you'd like just customize it to your own specifications and then um, you're gonna need some colored pencils and a regular pencil and then we can get started together all right, so I have my colored pencils and my pencil and my calendar printout here. And I've used the orange to um, put in the dates for the local public school that pertains to my older boys. My stepsons go to public school, so I have to work around their schedule as well. So if you are planning your calendar out, then you just want to look at the year at a glance and go ahead and mark off any weeks or dates that you know you just can't have school that week for whatever holiday or situation that you have um, particularly that pertains to your situation. And then um, you'll see that your year kind of already marks itself off at this point. I also like to include birthdays because we can take birthdays off. So I just go through the calendar and mark off any um, holidays in addition to the school holidays. Then based off this current year's calendar that we're working off of, I know when we will end school. And I usually like to take um, three weeks between school years. So that will be the 28th for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and circle that. That's where our new school year is going to start. And then from here, I just go ahead and count about four to five weeks depending on the holidays and stuff in between and start marking off our breaks throughout the school year. Now, since I do work around the public school and my older boys' schedule, our summers look a little different. So we do have the three weeks um, in between our school years, but then we only have about three weeks before we have another little summer break with our older boys again before they start school. So the time between breaks is going to be rather short, but that's okay because it, it, it evens out over the course of the school year. And like I said, you can customize it to your own family's specifications and uh, schedules and situation. So then I'm just going to go ahead and like I said, count about four to five weeks um, and then cross off the sixth week. And right here you see my boys already have an extended break. So I'm going to go ahead and take that full week off with um, my son for our homeschool just to make it simpler. And then I'm going to go ahead and count another um, five, four or five weeks, just depending from there, and then continue this process on. You can get pretty creative with how you schedule out your days as well. I mean, my boys have um, an extended weekend break here, and so I decided to take off um, half a week one week and then half a week another. So that'll count as one full week, but we'll have a break in between. And then um, my boys have another extra little break here, and then we'll go ahead and take that off and just have a shorter week this week. So I really just get creative with it, and um, I try not to stress too much about about it. I'll just take off the days that they have off because we can never, m my son just cannot do school whenever his big brothers are here. <laughs> and so we just take those days off and that's just totally fine. And so I leave a lot of margin for those kinds of things. And what's so great about homeschooling is that we have the freedom most of the time to do stuff like that. So I will note that also um, for spring break, so I have a, a 
weird situation here. Usually, like, you know, it's four to five weeks of school and then we break. But between February and March, there's not enough weeks. Um, then through January, it's a longer haul. So I decided to take two weeks off for spring break um, instead of just the one because we will have our big boys for spring break and I need a break from our spring break. <laughs> so like I said, just get really creative with it and enjoy the freedom of being able to schedule out your year and customize it to your specific, uh, your, your family's specific situation. And so now I'm going to go ahead and mark off our end date. Um, first, I'm going to count how many weeks we have. And like I said, usually it's 24 to 36 weeks, just depending. I like to have 36 because most of my curriculum that I use include pre-planned coursework schedules that go on a 36-week schedule. So then based on uh, that, I'll just jot down our end date. So for us, that'll be the 20th of May. And then of course, that'll set me up for the next school year because I like to take three weeks off. And so we'll start sometime mid June, and then I'll be ready to plan the next school year next year. And then if you want to get really fancy, you can go ahead and mark the key for your colors and the code and what they all stand for, because that's just fun to do, in my opinion. And that pretty much wraps up planning our year-round homeschool year. I hope you had fun planning your homeschool year with me. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment boxes below and I will help you any way that I can. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure and hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified of all of my upcoming videos. And I will see you in the next one.